Let's talk about power cables for live sound. We're, we're not talking festivals where we've got 40-some subs running. We're talking about four to six subs, sometimes two smaller outdoor things, one or two bands. So these power cables were given to me. And these are 12 gauge. They've got waterproof connectors, which really doesn't matter to me. But these are like 100 foot long. They've got a single plug on each end. Let's see, right there. They're 12.3. And the guy had these for his generator. Now the most important part about live sound is you gotta get one of these and one of these and they do all the work for you. And all you gotta do is sit in the truck and wait. So make sure you get you one of these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these down because we can always put them back together. So we're gonna make this one into two 50 footers and we're gonna do a 50 and two 25s out of this one. But we're gonna take this waterproof guy off because it's so hard to get stuff down in there and we're going to put a four outlet box on it so let's go make up some power cables okay I'm going to show you guys how I make the female end of these cables box face outlets wire here we go so we want to strip back plenty to go to our outlet. So I like to use almost the length of the box. Maybe just a touch more. There's our hot wire. Ground neutral. And then we've got this rubber inner cord that stiffens the cable. We just want to snip that off. All right. There's our three wires. strip these back before we forget because I've done this countless times take the nut off of your cable gland put your cable gland on here out of the way. We're going to use the three-quarter knockout on the bottom of the box. Knock that out. Put your box on. Do not forget your nut. And I like to go ahead and put it on and just start it. That way I know I didn't forget it. Because it really sucks when you get this entire thing assembled and have to take it apart. Ask me how I know. Strip these back. Go ahead and twist your copper. 
which you don't get any of that paper in there if your wire has a paper jacket as well. There we go. Grab an outlet. Gold is hot. Silver is neutral. Green is ground. So, I like to go on the bottom because the top will wrap to the other outlet. Oops. Look at that on the bottom. fibers get stuck in everything. Same thing, hook it on the bottom. Make sure you don't have any little stray strands of wire hanging out. Just fold them in if you do. Don't do your ground yet because now that we have this, we have to wire that to our next outlet. So, what we'll do is we'll take this. This is also 12 gauge solid core. We'll just take a couple short pieces of this and use for jumpers between them. We'll need three of these. Actually, we need four. We need two for ground. I'll show you why. How I like to do the grounds. There's two. Strip both ends of these. I thought maybe we could do more than one at a time. Don't think these are kind of garbage, but they're a little better than I thought they were, maybe. I still would not recommend the Harbor Freight wire strippers. See, they're struggling. If anybody has a recommendation on a good brand of these, let me know, because I like the, I like the idea of these. I just wish these worked. ready. Anything to hold them still. Got a pair of strippers like these. You can go ahead and put your hook in that one. Pinch it on there and tighten that up. Throw that down if, when you're done with it. That's what I always do. Sometimes before I'm done with it. Get you another one. Put 
should loop it in. Okay, there's those. And the trick is get your grounds turned the same. Throw you a loop in this one. Remember to make your loops the direction the screw tightens. We'll go ahead and run the other screw in since we're not going to use it. So we can see it. And loop. Snug your screw up. Okay. That brings you to this side which can be a little bit tricky. You can just kind of bend it around until you get it where you need it. That one needs stripped a little bit farther. Okay, those are not wanting to play. A good pair of wire strippers always makes this go so much quicker. Throw your loop in that. Slip it around. screw now you gotta bend this guy into place and we didn't make our wire long enough oh I see what we did We flipped one of our outlets the wrong direction. Oopsie. So there we go. We've got our neutral to our neutral, hot to our hot. Now we're gonna do grounds. Big wire nut. Throw your ground in it. Throw these other two wires in it. Hold it all together and tighten her up. There we go. My dogs are looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay. There we have our ground. We got two sticking out to go on our ground screws. It's the same thing, just throw you loop in these. Hook it over your ground screw. Give it a little pinch. Tighten it up. That needs stripped just a little bit more. I keep forgetting my strippers are my pliers too. Yep, I did it again. I just said those are my pliers. And 
this last one can be a little bit tricky because you're got all this wire now to fight against. But get it hooked. Reach in there somehow, pinch it. Bend it back so you can get access. Tighten your screw. So now we got two outlets wired together. All we gotta do is put it in the box. Now then. Get these seated down in the face. Poke your screw through. Put a nut on. You got one of these guys. It's five sixteenths. We'll tighten these shortly. Careful not to tighten too much. Get that wire nut bent so it will go in. Then box down here, cable gland, looks like everything will fit, so, tighten up the nut and the cable gland on the inside. Close our box up, make sure everything looks good. Yep, looks good. Get the screw started. Flatheads. Let's get a Phillips on there. I'm not sure I would have made it in a time before Phillips head screws because I do not like flathead screws. They are so hard for me to stay on. There we go. Last thing is to slide our cable gland down and nut. And get that started. Tighten that up. Oh no. Our inner nut came loose. Hmm. What's that all about? Yeah. 
And one more time. This cable gland. I'm going to hold the nut side of it so I don't turn it accidentally. And I'm going to call that good. So there we go. There's an assembled female end.